Hello. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. And how are you? Very good. Give me your names, please. Uh, I'm Tommy. And I'm Amalie. And together we are the Clairvoyants. Okay. Uh, married? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, so she's hint, waiting. Hint. Is this something you do full time, the two of you? We did it for our parents, you know, and friends, and they really liked it. Yeah. And so we tried to create an act, and we did it in schools and colleges. Now, in the meanwhile, people, you know, calling us, and we can come to their, I don't know, parties and stuff and perform. And what brought you here? Because we love what we do. We want to share our passion, especially with America. All right, well, listen, best of luck, both of you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Before we start, we need one thing. Heidi, do you have your handbag with you? I do. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Heidi, please take your handbag and join us on stage. <gasps> Give Heidi some encouragement. <laughs> Every time when we perform, people think there must be something in Amelie's ears, like maybe a loudspeaker or something. So, to verify that there is nothing hidden, check out my ears. If there are like antennas, earphones, no. whatever, maybe little, my left ear. A little mold, but that's it. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Please inspect this blindfold as well. I can take this for a second. And just make sure there is nothing inside, nothing hidden, no Wi Fi, mm. flat screens, no. no? Or hold it against your eyes, just for a second. And just to confirm, can you see anything? Through it? Yes. No. Perfect. Now, come to my right side and look for one or two objects out of your handbag and it feels like there's a lot of stuff inside. <laughs> Whatever you like, and place it on my right hand. Hi, you already chose something. It's a small object, you can open it. I quite like this shade, it's lipstick. Okay, that's correct. Yes. There is a number on it. I quite like the shade. It's lipstick number 602. Is that correct? That is correct. What? That's amazing. Wow. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please look in your pockets, in your handbags, in your wallets for any objects, any items you brought with you tonight. Make it as difficult as you like. Hold them up. But do not say what it is. Yes, because that is my job. Let's start with this. That feels like a cell phone. So the color. It's white. The brand. iPhone. The provider. There must be AT&T. Uh, AT&T. It's yeah. correct. Oh, I was right. What? Thank you so much. <laughs> a big round of applause for Amelie. Thank you. You think that was amazing? Did you just see that? Simon, can you just have a look? There is like no camera in my sleeves. No. Nothing on my jacket, in my hair. No. All good? Yeah. Look again, any objects, any items. What about this one? You have something in your hand that there is liquid inside. I think these are kind of drops. No. Way. And I'm pretty sure those are eye drops. That is correct? That is absolutely correct. If you have a closer look, there is an expiring date on it. Oh. There's an expiration date? Uh, yeah. The expire... There must be May 2017. That is correct? Yes. Yes, it is. What? Ladies and gentlemen, Amelie. Good evening, clairvoyance. Hello. You were great the first time, and I've never been this amazed by anything. You scare me. <laughs> Do you believe you have something equal, if not better, tonight? I, I believe so. All right, dazzle me again. Let's do it. Um, Simon, the last time you said you would love to spend the weekend with us in Vegas, right? Yes. And we thought we'll bring Las Vegas to you. 
Oh. We want to show you something we have no influence on. A game of chance. We need three things we'll find in Vegas. One is a die, one is a deck of playing cards, and we need one last thing. Money. money. Simon, can you take out some money and just put it on the table? And I will come back to that in a second. So, Louis, please, check out this blindfold. Have a look if there is anything hidden. <laughs> so you can't see anything through it? I, I can't, no. Thank you very much. Thank you, Can Alan. I look at something? <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'm here for you, Howie. Okay, okay. And we'll do a little game with you. Just take the die for a second and roll the die on the table. Oh, number six, you're lucky. You will do it one last time, but this time you will cover it. So no one can see what number is on top. Go for it. <laughs> just... You're happy? I'm thrilled. Thrilled. <laughs> I will turn around. Okay. You will have a look. Okay. Okay. You did? I did. Reach out your right arm like this to the side. Howie. Yes. I don't think you rolled a very high number. It was not a four, not a five, and not a six. I'm pretty sure how you rolled the one. Can we have a look? Yes. Good. Number one. That's impossible. Okay. One out of six. Let's make it a little bit more complex. Let's take the playing cards and Mal B. Shuffle them, mix them up. Spread out the cards, make a nice fan. And Louis, you select one card just for you. Keep it a secret, whatever card you like. And place it face down on my palm. Yes. Louis, you chose the five of hearts. Yeah. My oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! How did I do that? Oh my god! Okay. One out of six. One out of 52. Let's make it impossible. Let's make it one in a million. That's your money on the table, right? Yeah. Nothing is set up tonight, that's correct? Correct. And I don't want to touch your money at all, but Heidi, you can. Just select one bill and place it on my hand. We will do the impossible. You all know there's a serial number on every bill. To know this exact number, it's more impossible than to win a million in Vegas, but that is what I want to know. Amelie, go for it. Okay. You like to challenge me tonight. So, but I'll try it. You watch very closely. The first number is an eight, yes? Yes? Yes. yes. Yeah. How are they doing? Then there's a nine. Yes. Yes. A seven. Yes. And a five. I can't believe how she can do this. There is a three. I sense a two. No, wait, there is a three. Yes. yes. Yo, she's not from this planet. The next number must be an eight. That's a four. And there is a letter. And there must be an A. Wow! Is that correct? <laughs> we are here in Hollywood. And here are so many celebrities. I have some of them, like 200, like Asha, Rihanna, Chris Rock, a lot of different people. And Heidi, I will whistle through the book and just stop whenever you like. Okay. Stop. Here it is. Who is it? Uh, Paula Abdul. What a coincidence. Ladies and gentlemen, here she is, Paula what? Abdul. Us, why do you never play the lottery? We did. And we won. 
$6.25. It's not so impressive, but Paula, you have the box with you. Can you place it here? I don't want to touch it. Um, because tonight we are all winners and we just need some random lucky numbers. Can you help oh, Amelie? Step over here. Sure. We need six different numbers between 1 and 50, 5 zero. Paula, you will write them down and I want you to write down the first number. Maybe it's your lucky number. Just put it in there. Write okay. it down. Me first. Yes. First okay. number. Perfect. It is number one. And Mel B. How many times has Howie refused to shake someone's hand today? A number between 1 and 50. 50. 50, okay. <laughs> you go for it. Perfect. Howie, how many times did Mel B say off the chain the whole season? Oh, uh, that's 47. 47? <laughs> yeah. Next okay. number pull up. You're doing amazing. Heidi, okay. make a guess. How many times does Simon look into the mirror every day? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's not even number. Yeah, what is it? 1 to 50? 50. I take another 50. Can we take another? Okay, then 49. 49. 49. 49. That's a lot, Simon. Howie, uh, Simon, last time Howie asked you for a raise. Between 1 and 50, how much would you pay him? <laughs> Two? <laughs> million dollars! Two dollars? You are not very generous, Simon. But okay. And Paula, your choice, the Powerball. You are writing down the number of the Powerball. It is number eight. Eight. So Thank we you have very much. one, 50, 47, 49, two, and eight. Step over here, Paula. Okay. Because tonight, I think we are all winners. And Amelie and I, we always play the lottery with our lucky numbers. And I have one lock lottery ticket in this box. Nothing in my hands. I want you to take this box, tip it over, and take out the lottery ticket what's inside. Take the ticket and read down, the, read the numbers we played. Okay. One. It's number one. Yeah. Uh, 50? This one, 50? the next one, just in a row, one. You should look at glasses. <laughs> yeah, I need your glasses. 47? 47. 49? 49. 50, we're well, ahead of you. And one. Eight. This one is a two. Oh, oh my God, I need eyeglasses. I need a two. <laughs> Can I help you, Paula? And the Powerball is number? The Powerball is number, it's crossed out. We have eight. number two is, isn't well. Two is and Powerball is number eight. We'll show it to the camera. It's These real. are all the numbers. You real. Oh my God. You are all winners. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Wait one second, Paula. <laughs> Thank you. Because I have one more thing for you. Take this envelope, hold on to it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for you, John. Thermos! Hey, how you doing? I'm I tell you what, let's make this easy. Put the envelope here. I'm putting the envelope here. And then here. put the ticket there. It's just, it's crossed out through the numbers. Put the ticket down, Paula. Yeah, that was good. I tell you what, Paula, we're gonna go like this and yeah. watch. The ticket will disappear. Here's what we're gonna do. It's a deck of cards. You got it? Are they all different? Yes. Okay, we got all different cards. Just touch one. Anyone you want? Okay, this one. No, keep your finger on it. Perfect. Hold on to it. Show it to the crowd. Show it to the camera. This is awesome. Paula, it's a do as I do. Hold that card in front of you, and I just want you to rip that card in half. So what you're gonna have is two pieces. You have a piece in the left hand and the piece in the right hand. But before you do it, it's, it's more of like a visual thing. Like you just kind of <laughs> pretend to... <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. I you know what? what? You it's as if we do. took two steps forward and we just take two steps back. <laughs> wow, that was funny. <laughs> Anyways, I tell you what. Hold it like this. And if you would, rip those two pieces in half. Are you sure you want this? Yeah, I tell you what. <laughs> Boy, are you guys lucky I came with my magic brown bag today. Uh-huh. Paula, drop the pieces inside. Hopefully we're gonna make these pieces disappear by shaking the bag. Oh, you know what? what? I, hold on, hold on, hold on. You should hold on to a corner because it makes the trick better at the end. Look, Jack of Spades, hold on to that. It's a shake and you go like this. <laughs> you punch the bag, the pieces completely disappear from inside the bag. Pieces gone, oh thank God. you. <laughs> and I tell you what. No, you can't look inside the bag. 
So, before we started, the clairvoyance handed you an envelope. Yes. Yeah, do me a favor. I'm going to hold the corner right here. Okay. If you would, open that envelope. No. You had a free choice of any card. I thought it'd be cool to take three pieces and make three pieces disappear and reappear inside that envelope. Boom! Watch this. Boom. Take it out. Watch. Hold on. Take it out. Okay, I'm taking it out. Yeah. But I thought I'd step the game up. Not only open it up, not only are those three pieces back in the envelope, but they're back no. together. No way. Hold on. Oh and God. we're missing one corner. Ladies and gentlemen, right here, that corner fits perfect. I tell you what, no, 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 no. Ladies and gentlemen, the legend Paula Abdul. Tonight, we want to show you something very special and different. Ever since Tommy and I got on the show for the first time, people have been coming up to me saying, it must be great to always know what your boyfriend is thinking. Well, it's not always that great. <laughs> but tonight, for the first time, you are going to feel how this is. Uh, can we lift up the board? We started very simple. We lived in a small apartment, but we always kept a bowl of jelly beans on the table. Our favorite sweets because they come in all flavors and colors. Amelie, look away. Simon. Pick one jelly bean, anyone. Thank you. Give it to me. <laughs> um. Tommy, you're tasting something like... Mmm, it's sweet. It tastes like berry. It was the purple one. It is berry. It was the purple one? It was. It was. Heidi, your turn. Take out a different one. Cool. You were going to eat it. Amelie? Heidi, you taste something different. I sense... Bubble gum, it was the pink one. Is that correct? The pink one? It Bubble was. gum. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Heidi. Yeah. Right. Melby, I have the feeling you have a sweet tooth. So I want to take you as many jelly beans as you like. <laughs> we'll do that very fair. Amelie, look away. And Melby, take the scoop. Take the glass in the other hand. And you can add scoops into the glass. Half scoops, full scoops, just a few, whatever you like. Howie, how are you tonight? I'm very good. How very are you? Very good. I I'm good. Oh, what would be your dream flavor for jelly bean? Oh, Mel B. M Mel B. <laughs> it's kind of a, it's kind of okay. a spicy chocolate. <laughs> a spicy chocolate Mel B. Excellent. Very sad. Um, <laughs> Mel B, you're happy? Or you add some more. Yeah. You can add some more if no, you like to. This is perfect for me. So there's still some left for us. Thank you so much. Um, cover the glass with one hand. Put the other hand on top. Amelie, we are ready. So we all agree that no one knows how many jelly beans are inside this glass, right? But our brain is a curious thing. And somewhere in there, you probably you already know, Melby. Okay, Amelie, find it. I want you to look into my eyes, Melby. Your mind seems to be very busy at the moment. Relax. Somewhere I sense the jelly beans already. And I'm sure that you have 22 jelly beans inside this glass. You can remove the hands. 22, are you sure? I'm sure. 22 jelly beans. Okay, that's very fair. Put all the jelly beans on the tray. Push them all to one side. There's nothing left in the glass, right? And count one by one, bean by bean, loud, so everyone can hear it. Three, four. Five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, <laughs> seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two wow. jelly beans. Thank you. These are all yours. Wait a second. Can we have the board, please? I have to apologize because maybe we were not completely honest with you. You thought we were reading your minds, but no. Remember, at the beginning, Amelie was standing next to the chalkboard. She said, it will be different tonight. We were not reading your minds. Tonight, we were controlling your thoughts. This board has hanging in full view the entire time. Whatever has been written on it cannot be changed. Amelie, Simon will pick a purple jelly bean. No. Heidi will select the bubblegum one, 
And Mel B will have exactly 22 jelly beans. Oh, P.S. We hope they'll release spicy chocolate jelly beans very, very soon. soon. <laughs> Tonight, we'll bring you back in time to an age before the internet. An age where people went to clairvoyance to get answers. So let us be your clairvoyance as we explore your most intimate thoughts. No worries, we won't reveal the embarrassing moments. Howie, yeah. but we will start with you. <laughs> Howie, I want you to think of a question you always wanted to ask Simon, but you never did. Okay. Now is your chance. Please write down the question and make sure no one else and no camera can see it. Mel B, we are getting a little bit more personal. I'd like you to think of uh, someone, a special person, someone you haven't seen for a very long time, someone we could not know. Focus on their initials and write this stuff down. Thank you. And Heidi, excuse me for getting slightly intimate, but I'd like you to remember a kiss you once received and focus on the location. Uh, don't say on your lips. I mean, where you were at the time. And write the location down. When you're done with that, fold the pieces of paper together and hold on to them. Simon, please stand up and join me. Oh, again? <laughs> now, imagine, imagine you walk down the streets of London together with your family and friends. Close your eyes now. You just achieved a huge life goal and you want to remember this time for the rest of your life. So you look up the Big Ben and the hands on the clock are indicating a very specific time. It's not on the hour, but what time do you see, Simon? Name hour and minute now. Four minutes past seven. Four minutes past seven, which is 7.04 in America. Correct. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Can I go? No. Simon, stay here for a second. Because Simon, you imagined yourself walking in London, but you were not alone. We were with you. And we also saw the tower, and we also saw the clock, and indeed, it said 7.04. Amazing, or? Okay, I know, you would not believe me. That's why we set the clock before the show started at exactly 7.04. Keep this as a souvenir, and now, judges, Stand up, take your folded pieces of paper and join us on stage as we demonstrate how things were done 150 years ago. Come with me. Over there. Let's gather around the table. Beautiful. Things may get slightly more intense now, but don't worry, you can trust us. Simon, please. Thank you. Heidi, over here. You just need to keep an open mind and maybe we can go to some very interesting places together. This is spooky. It's oh, really spooky. Tommy. <laughs> Howie. Yes. Hand me your question. There we go. I will try to send your question to Amelie. How your question is very specific. I'm getting it now. You ask for a race. Yeah. Is that correct? <laughs> is that correct? <laughs> yes. I asked Simon for a race. <laughs> Simon, now is your time. You can answer the question or not, as you wish. No. No, okay. <laughs> that was fast. Heidi, give me your paper. This time, I just need to touch it. Oh, give me your right hand. And give me your left hand, Heidi. This is weird. I sense a rush of emotion, such joy. Heidi, you're high up in the air. You're on an airplane. Is that correct? It is. It's correct. Thank you. Thank My you. What gosh. a beautiful memory. Thank you, Heidi. Tommy, please take Melby's paper. Okay. There is a fire burning deep within you, so I want you to burn her paper, Tommy. Okay, we can try this. Don't try this at home, but I want you all to look into the candle. Look into the flame of the candle. Or into the flame of the fire. Melby, you're thinking of someone we could not know. Someone who influenced you when you were younger. Amelie, what is the first initial? I'm getting an I. I, is that correct? Focus on the second initial. The second is a W. No, it's a B. B, that is correct. Is that correct? Yeah. There is something else I'm getting. Is it possible it's your grandmother you're thinking yes. of? Yes. 
I wrote something down before the show started and I put it on a very special place. Tommy, can you help me? Absolutely. Melvi, open your right hand like this. I don't want to touch the pendant at all, but for the very first time, tell us the name, the first name you're thinking of. Iris. Iris, open the pendant on the side. Take out the folded piece of paper, unfold it, and let us all know what's written in there. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Iris, you are kidding me. Iris. Wow. That's my grandma. Thank you so much. You can go oh, back to your seat. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mel B. Oh. Thank you. you can keep the watch assignment. Thank you. A little souvenir. Thank you. That was pretty spooky. The clairvoyance. America, thank you for voting us to the finals of America's Got Talent. Hopefully we have saved the best for last. You may think our final performance just started a couple seconds ago. No. It began four months ago when we, judges, met for the very first time. And from this moment on, everything has been planned. Heidi, you remember the first thing we did, you opened your handbag and Amelie knew exactly what was inside. Yep. Well, tonight it will be even more random. Amelie, blindfold yourself. And Heidi, Throw this ball into the audience wherever you like. Okay, good one. Over there. Perfect. Come to the side, sir. Come to the side. And take everything out of your pockets. Amelie, look away. Okay. There is one object in my hand. Amelie, what is it? You can open this object. There is something inside. I sense a wallet. So great. That is correct? Yes. You took something outside that's a driver's license. Is that correct? Yes. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, Amelie. Thank you very much. But now let's try something even more challenging. Excuse me, what is your name? Your name? Victor. Victor, reach out one hand like this, Victor. Now, Victor's birthday. Victor, hello. <laughs> you were born quite in the middle of the year. I sense it's May, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> so, okay, the exact day. It's quite the middle of May. It's May 12th. Yes. Really? Thank you so much. It's your applause. Thank you, Amelie. And Simon, in our second performance, I knew the serial number on your $100 bill. Yes, Do you, you remember? Did. Yes. Well, there was a reason for that. We needed you to trust us because now we're in the finals. Now we need a little bit more. Take out your wallet. Yeah. I'm not kidding. And pass it down the line to Howie. Really? Yes, you're lucky today. Are you oh, serious? Wow. I'm very serious, take yes. <laughs> Last and, oh. week I asked for a raise. Today I'm going to take Here it myself. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> there was also a reason for that, Howie. I put it in your pocket. And Mel B, you remember you in, in our third show, Howie called you a spicy chocolate jelly bee. <laughs> yes. Tonight you can get him back. What or what would be your Howie flavor be? What would it? A wanna bean. A wanna bean? A wanna bean. A wanna bean. <laughs> As if you wanna bean annoying me all season. Boom. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Howie, or so to say wanna bean. Do you have to pop up, Simon? Y yes. Stand up and join me on stage. Come oh, with me. Okay. America, for the last four months you've wanted us to make things more challenging. Well, this is going to be the challenge of our lives. Howie, walk with me. You will get a 360 degree view. There is nothing below the tank. No. no. Nothing. nothing above. Nothing. No monitors. Nothing. No screens. No loudspeakers. No cameras. Stay over here. Okay. Because tonight, we are doing something we've never done before and probably will never do it again. Amelie will be surrounded by 250 gallons of water. Amelie, get ready. There is no way of any communication. And Howie, as you said, last week you asked for the pay rise and that's your chance. You have Simon's wallet, right? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Open it and look for any credit card. Take any credit card out of his wallet. Really? Yes. Okay. Hold it so no one can see it. No one can see it. Anomaly is getting ready. 
<laughs> now, give me the credit card. Please. Look for the expiration date on it. Come closer. Look for the expiration date. Don't say it. Only okay. look for it. All right. Is the expiration date February 2020? Yes. Yes. Look for the last four numbers on his card. The last four numbers. Focus on the numbers. I am. And for the very first time, tell us what are the last four numbers on Simon's credit card? Two, four, five, six. Step forward and look what she wrote. Two, four, five, six. Bring this back to Simon. Thank you so much. But, Mel B, we have not forgot about you. Wait for one second, Amelie. Do you remember this? This is the pendant you had last week in your hand. And inside was a little piece of paper. It said the name of your grandmother, yeah. Iris, right? Yeah. But you missed one very important part. Open your hand like this. Because inside the gr pendant, graved, engraved into the metal, was a word. And can you know, can you tell us what word it is? Wanna be! <laughs> Wanna be! <laughs> Keep this as your souvenir. That's souvenir. Great. Thank you so much, America. You've been the thrill of our lives. Thank you. That is crazy. The clip. Click on the button below and make sure you subscribe. Subscribe now. Go on, do it. And if you subscribe to the channel, my Simon will love you forever. You're gonna love it.